everyone. This is my first vi YouTube video ever. Um, it's on minimalism, on how minimalism can help you find happiness. I know this is like a really big um, statement, but yeah, I kind of want to start off my channel with a positive video. So for this video, um, I wanted to talk about just a little bit of background on how I came about this. Um, I discovered minimalism um, about like three years ago. Uh, it wasn't exactly minimalism that I found first. Um, I was reading a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad that um, my boyfriend actually found in the bookstore. And it was talking, it's uh, the author's Robert Kawasawi, and he was talking about how like the difference between the poor and the rich is that the rich the poor buy luxury um, items first and then the rich buy it last. They spend their money instead on investments that generate money back. Um, but anyway, that's for another video. So that kind of like led me to think, like I reflected on myself and I was just like, I was like, wow, like I've spent a lot of money on material things. And what did it amount to? Am I any happier? No, I'm not. So I kind of wanted to talk about that. Um, I have a little book here. This is... <laughs> Where I write down my points. I know it's not the most professional, but uh, I guess the job done. So um, the first point I want to talk about um, How minimalism can make you happy point one decluttering so um, Decluttering that's kind of like when you get it's you get rid of all of the things that you don't need It's getting rid of the excess and keeping the things that are beautiful and functional so um, when you declutter you well, let's just talk about like a real life example. Um, you know, you think about like the kitchen, you think about your closet, your wardrobe, your makeup vanity, your your whole house and all, the garage, all of those things, you feel so overwhelmed when you think, oh, I need to clean them. But then you see all of the things that need to be cleaned and you, and you know that you remember when you do clean it, it takes you the whole day and you just feel like, why? It's, it's so pointless spending all of that time, right? So that's kind of what decluttering is. When you get rid of all of the excess, Cleaning and I mean you don't even need to clean when you declutter really you'll find that when you declutter Cleaning time is like bare minimum. So what ends up happening is you end up saving a lot of time And you can use that time for other more meaningful things doing things that make you happy or spending time with loved ones or getting caught up with work like that's just That's what you can do with your time and it's just so much more meaningful next thing save money so those things that are in your cabinet in your kitchen they didn't come free did they you spent money on it so when you start to live a more minimalist lifestyle you start to buy less of things you don't need guess what it's money in your pocket and money in your pocket is for things that you can spend on anything now that you want you have more money to buy the better quality things instead of having three pardon my language I don't want to start these videos off by swearing but three really bad quality shirts you can buy one really nice quality shirt and yeah I know a lot of people are gonna say like yeah but like these shirts wear out and blah 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 yeah but you know what when when you have quality even if let's just assume both the bad shirt and the quality shirt last the same period of time you get better wear out of the the better quality thing you're wearing better quality thing right off the bat it doesn't matter if both of them don't even last you that long and it turns ragged because it doesn't matter you wore quality right off the bat and that's already worth the money Okay, next thing, speaking of quality, your quality of life improves when you go minimalism. Why? Because you're not buying things you don't need. You don't need, you don't need the really bad quality things. You spend a little bit more, which you now have because you don't buy garbage anymore, and you can enjoy finer quality things. I mean, with, within reason, I'm not saying you go out and you buy excess. That's, that's not what this, that's not the point. The point is you buy what you need, but you buy the better quality of it. That's all. Like, you need you need cereal let's just assume you need cereal you need to eat but instead of buying like canned beans for 50 cents at the grocery store which is, might not even be that good for your health you don't know where it's coming from you spend a little bit more at the better quality grocery store for a better brand or even the same grocery store but in the, the better quality one whatever and now you have better quality of life um, instead of going home and you have a bajillion cans in, in your cabinet and you wonder well, what am I gonna eat because you don't want to eat that. It tastes like garbage. And just because it was 50 cents, right? Um, so, yeah, you're surrounded with, by things you like. The next thing, um, traveling. Traveling becomes easier. In this day and age, I feel like a lot of us travel. Um, it's kind of like the new thing. Everybody wants to go, like, look at where I'm going. Like, look at all the wonderful places I've been to. So, traveling. When you have less things, you travel with less things. Um, I mean, let's just go ahead and assume, like, you travel with a lot. Let's take, for example, a heavy travel, like a... Not like a light traveler, a heavy traveler. Um, one, you have that fear of, is your luggage going to go overweight? Um, and if it is, like you got to go to the side and you got to unpack everything. And then even if it doesn't fit in your in your like carry-on, because your carry-on is already maxed out with all the other garbage that you need, now you have to get rid of 
that, throw it in the garbage. And, and what was the point of that when you could have just traveled later, right? And then that wasted your time, and it's embarrassing, you have to go to the side. And then when, say, like, when you're already, like, uh, it's not international, you only have a carry-on. You have three little, you, have, you know, some people have, like, the little purse with the essentials, like, the wallet, the passport, whatever. Then they have a small, need all of those things. Like, are you really going to change three times at the airport? You only need one change of clothes in case of an emergency. And worst case scenario is, you know, like, Unless you're going to an undeveloped country, odds are you could probably replenish what you need. You don't need to carry it on you. You should travel light. You know, it just makes the whole process a whole lot less stressful. And, and traveling already is for the most part. You know, you got to be on your toes. You got to make sure you, you catch a plane. If you're having a transfer flight, you got to check where you're going, blah, 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 blah. You, you don't need to be hauling that much things on you. So, yeah, traveling just becomes that much more easier. Next thing um, I want to talk about is functionality and beautiful. Those are the two key things because, like, if you're wondering... It's like that where do i start well what do you get what do you keep you keep two things you keep if it's functional and if it's beautiful so beautiful are things that make you that just brings you that much joy when you wear it and i would assume those are the things you usually wear when you go to parties you know what the beauty of minimalism is you get to wear that all the time i know right like those pearl earrings that necklace those things that make you the best nail polish you have it's now your daily attire. So, and now we go into the functional aspect of minimalism. Um, if you work in a, a like a very professional setting and you wear business suits, um, you keep that because that's functional. You, you need those. Yeah, maybe you don't like it. You have an excess, like you have six sets. Yeah, but you go to work every day, six times a week. You're, you're gonna need six sets of business clothes. But on the other hand, if you work at home or you have another profession, you don't need six business suits. So therefore, this now becomes an excess and that's no longer beautiful or functional. So, you only need one, right? So that's kind of where I'm going into. Some things are not beautiful and you don't really like it, but it's functional and so you at least need one set of it. Kind of like, you know, how beautiful would your kitchen look if you only had a spoon and a fork, but how functional is that? No, you still need a couple cutlery sets and especially if you're a chef, you still need, you need the essentials. So the last thing is um, happiness, kind of like what this whole video boils down to. So Chasing material things. We all think that's going to make us happy. You know what? I'll use myself as an example. Um, when I used to live in Toronto, I would see so many people be like, I never, I didn't grow up with TV, so I didn't have commercials, you know, telling me what I wanted to buy. But it didn't matter. Consumerism still reached me. You know, I lived in the downtown core, so everybody looked great. Like there was, I would walk through Eaton Center and I saw all the beautiful things that I wanted. And I would see it on people. And I thought, you know what? She looks great. She looks happy. I want that too. And so I would like look it up, how much it costs. And then I would think, okay, I need to save up X and, my, X and Y amount and I need to work X and Y amount of hours on my minimum wage job just to be able to afford this. And I would buy it. I wasn't that much happier. I still thought of the next thing and I still walked in the streets and I still saw people happy wearing this, wearing that. And I think, okay, that's it. That's, that's happiness right there. It isn't. And after I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and like it got me into reading other minimalist books, I realized that, you know what, if you actually derive happiness when you're doing something, when you're creating something, when you're helping people, this is where the true happiness comes from. So it made me stop and think, when have I been the most happiest, really? And it, I, in my psychology class, we learned about this called flow. It's when you're doing something and it makes you lose complete track of time. Like what you did took three hours, but only felt like two minutes. That's called flow. And I realized for me, that was when I painted and when I wrote. And after this whole thing about like decluttering the things that I didn't need and, and I stopped chasing stopped chasing material things and, I, and I instead I spent my time instead of calculating how you know calculating and being obsessed and scrolling through my phone of all the new items that I wanted and instead I focused it on creating and producing things and being productive I was happier that's it that was the secret and it's free like even better I have more money in my bank than I ever had ever since I started minimalism so this is great I'm richer and I'm happier and who would have thought that less is this is because less is more less has put more in my life so yeah these are the kind of things that I want to talk about minimalism um, in the fashion of minimalism I'll keep this video under 10 minutes so if you liked my video please comment subscribe anything I really appreciate um, feedback you know like anything that you think that, that could improve this video or improve me or, or something I really appreciate it because I'm just getting started and I, I would definitely love the support so thank you so much bye see you in my next video